Welcome to part four of me answering questions asked by my clients. And today I am answering, how do you deal with setbacks? In the world of health and fitness, setbacks happen to everybody. The most important thing is how you choose to deal with a setback and how you react to it and how you respond. Real progress is made when you realize that health and fitness is not linear and perfection actually does not exist. So yeah, you have to take responsibility for your action, take a deep breath and just vow to get back on the track and, 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 and do what you need to be doing. You have to understand that nothing is as black and white as it seems. Um, if you make poor food choices or you skip a workout, it doesn't make you good. It doesn't make you bad, right? So you have to, it, it makes you human. So you just have to understand that we're all humans on this journey. So I always say, acknowledge your shortcomings. They are there. And then you just have to make a plan to figure out how you may be able to avoid a particular activity that gets you doing the stuff that you don't want to do, like missing that workout or making those bad food choices. So what do you do? You have a plan. You set time in your week to go shopping, um, to uh, prepare your meals, healthy meals, whole meals. Um, in advance so that means you have that ready when it's time to eat and also plan your workouts like if you want to work out in the mornings plan that listen at this time i'm going to work out and you just have to be disciplined and consistent with it and the little things matter so set aside some time to a little stretch some walking get those steps in use the stairs not the elevator just those kind of small things when you're watching the television do it from a stretching position so you can get your stretching in. So you don't necessarily have to have a, a, a specific time for your stretching. Make a commitment to yourself to continue moving forward. Not make setbacks stop you on your fitness journey. Remember, doing the work doesn't guarantee success, but it creates the possibility for success. And that's what you want. One thing we are sure of, if you don't do any work, you're definitely not going to get to the goals that you have set. As always, do the damn work.